All right, it's 1130, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. All right, Coach Chambers here, K2PE. Again, um, this is day two of the week, so today is first grade. However, if you are kindergarten, first grade, second grade, you are more than welcome to join any day. If you still have your piece of paper from last time, make sure that you have that. Or today, if you have a small ball that you wanna use, you can. Also, if you have your piece of paper from last time with the X on it that we made to throw and try to hit and land on it, you can grab that. However, if you have something else, like let me show you what I have today. If you have a box, you can use a box. Just put it on the ground later. If you have a paper bag, if you have a bucket, it could be a empty trash can, it could be a clothes hamper, it could be a really big bowl. Just when we start our game in a little bit, you're gonna need something that you could try to toss the ball into and land inside of it. So it could be anything that you can think of. Like I said, it could be a bucket, could be a box, shoe box, could be a um, plastic bag, could be a clothes hamper, could be a really big bowl, could be anything. Or if you don't have that, that is fine. We can still use our piece of paper from last time. So make sure that you have those items or you could use a ball instead of a piece of paper. I'm just gonna use the piece of paper today again because I like the piece of paper. All right, so while we warm up, if you don't have those, go ahead and grab those and then we're gonna warm up in the meantime and then come back as quickly as you can. We're gonna warm up as always, stretch, and then we're gonna work on today some tossing skills again. And then instead of rolling and instead of TL step throw, we're gonna work on more of a basketball um, throwing stance instead. So I will go over that in a little bit, okay? Make sure you have your items, make sure you have your water, make sure you have space, check. Everything's good, check. All right, let me check real quick. Yep, some first grade, second grade, kindergarten, welcome. All right, we're gonna get warmed up. So that way we get our blood pumping, our muscles working really nicely, warm, so that way we can stretch and get to our activity. First thing today, as usual, we're just gonna start nice, slow jog. About 20 seconds in, I'll tell you, we're gonna go to a medium jog, and then we're gonna go to a really quick feet, as fast as you can, type of really quick jog. You can do it in place. You can practice going forward and backwards. You can practice jogging side to side. Just try to move around a little bit and work on going different ways. So if you always do it in place, try something different today. Try going forward, try jogging backwards, try jogging sideways, either way. So try going different directions to help you work on warming up your body and getting your body used to going different directions. All right, music's gonna start. We're gonna start warming up jogging could be in place or any direction. Nice and slow first, not too fast. Ready? Music started. Nice. Very nice slow jog. I'm gonna go backwards and forward. Backwards and forward. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Backwards. Forwards. You wanna go a little angle you can. We're going to circle, back and forth. Nice and slow. Now medium pace, a little faster, a little bit faster. Pump your arms, pump your legs forward, backwards. Forward, backwards. Forward, backwards. Forward, and now quickly, quick as you can. Move your feet as fast as you can, fast as you can. Hands and arms, woo! See how quickly you can go, how fast can you go? Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! All right, nice job warming up. We went slow, medium, and then fast. All right, now that we've warmed up our whole bodies a little bit, we're gonna go to the next one, which is push-ups. So again, push-ups. If you wanna do it, regular push-up, or you can do it on your knees. Here, show you from the side, on your knees. We're just gonna work on doing push-ups. And remember, try to keep your elbows not up here, but more down. So when you do them, it makes it easier. It's more chest and triceps instead of shoulders, which makes it harder. All right, we're gonna see push-ups. How many can we do? We have 30 seconds only on push-ups. Get ready, set, and go. One, two, three, four. Keep going, nice and straight, all the way down, all the way up, all the way down, all the way up. Keep going, keep going. 
Make sure your microphone is muted. Next, we're gonna to go to skipping. So you can go forward, backwards, sideways if you wanna switch it up. Try to do sideways. Forward, backwards, nice little skip. We're gonna go 40 seconds. Ready, set, and here we go. Go backwards, forwards. I'm gonna check over here. Hannah, I'm gonna go ahead and mute you. Keep skipping. Forward, backwards, skipping. There we go. Just checking on the microphones, making sure everyone is muted. Skipping forward, backwards, forward, backwards. There we go, nice job. Backwards, skipping, forward. You wanna go sideways? Sideways, try sideways. Keep going, keep going. Okay, next, we're gonna do one more warm up. Then we're gonna make sure our, our muscles should be warm. Then we're gonna stretch and get to our activity. Before we stretch, I'm gonna remind you if you just joined us, what you could possibly need today so that we would have it ahead of time. All right, last warm up, okay? Last warm up, all you're gonna to try to do is just regular squats now. So you're just gonna squat as low as you can, front view, feet shoulder width apart, squat down as low as you can, and back up, okay? It's like you're sitting in a chair, side view, you're not doing this. You're not just barely squatting, that's not a squat. You're gonna try to go down as low as you can and stand back up, okay? Just squatting, it's not how many you can do. Just try to go nice and low, back up, take your time, enjoy it, go all the way down, enjoy your trip down, and then enjoy your trip back up. Don't try to go fast, just do it slowly and work on your form, which is the most important for these. All right, here we go, ready, set, and come on. So you want to hold it at the bottom? You can. Okay, again, from the side. And back up. Squat down. One. Two. All the way down. All the way back up. Nice job right there. Nice and low. Yep. Take your time. Enjoy it. All the way down. Enjoy that ride. All the way back up. Nice low squats. Take your time. One. Take your time. Two. Keep going. Ten seconds. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Freeze. Nice job. Okay, our body's warm. We're going to move on to a stretch, but really quickly, some new people joined us. If you just joined us before we stretch, make sure that you have your ball that you made from paper from last time, or today you can use a real ball if you have one. And then your sheet of paper. If you have this, that's great because you might need it if you don't have something that you can try to shoot into. So look, I have a box. If you have some sort of box, you can grab it. If you have a bag, you can grab it. If you have a bucket, you can grab it. If you have a clothes hamper, if you have a really big bowl, if you have an empty trash can, anything that you can try to work on shooting into will work, okay? And if not, not a problem. Like I said, we'll do what we did last time. If you don't have any of those items, we can still use our X like we did last time, okay? All right, if you don't have a ball, use your paper. All right, we're gonna stretch really quickly, forward arm circles, nice and slow. We're gonna play the music with this stretch today. Here we go, ready, set, nice, slow, forward. If you don't have those items, try to go grab them really quickly, and if not, that's fine, use your paper from last time. Get our arms nice and loose, because we're gonna be using them. Keep going, keep going, nice and slow. And really big arm circles forward. Nice and big forward arm circles. And slow, small backwards. Small, slow, backward arm circles. And nice big old backward 
circle, circle, backwards. Nice and big, you can keep your whole body if you want. Get them shoulders nice and loose. And then last night, out, hug in. Out, hug in. Just keep working on hugging yourself. Try to test the back of your shoulders if you can. Back and forth. Try to test the back of your shoulders. Nice job. Okay, next one. You're going to take one arm, reach across, hold it. Count to 10. Ready, set, go. One, two, seven, ten. Good job. Now shake it out nice and loose. Then the other side, shake it way across your body, pull it in, hug it. We're going to count backwards to 10. 10, 9, 8, 4 through, I'll help you go down. We're going to go to 100 by 10. So we're going to start 10, 20, remember nice and slow, 30, 100. Nice job. Now we're going to go ahead. We're going to hold the lunge and we're going to take a big old step forward and then we're going to push your hips forward and we're going to try to hold this position and count to 20 by twos. Okay, ready? Two, Six, 10, and that's good. Okay, now you're gonna take your other leg, take a big old step forward, push your hips forward, and now we're just gonna try to hold this position and we're gonna count backwards from 20 by two. So 20, 18, 16, Good. And then lastly, you're going to reach back, try to grab a leg, hold it. Flamingo pose, you're going to work on balance. Balance is one of the words we're going to work on today with one of our activities. So this is important. Reach back, grab a leg, hold it. And if you need to use your other arm up in the air, go ahead and do so. Count to 10. One, two, three. And 10. Okay. Lastly, reach up and grab the other leg, reach back, hold it. And we're going to count backwards from 10, 10, 9, 8, 8, and 1. Okay, we warmed up, we've stretched, hopefully everyone has got their equipment. If not, make sure you grab it, get yourself a sip of water first of all. So we're going to grab a sip of water. Uh, so I have my water. All right, now, I'm going to go ahead and start explaining the activity. But really quickly, um, today, like I said, I figured out finally how to upload some of the videos, not from here, but from over here. So tomorrow, when I email out to your teachers, there should be at least three videos, maybe four if I can get this one to work, that you guys can work on at home. And they'll be much more clear than this video you're watching right now because it's on a different device. So I think it will work out nicely. You'll have three, maybe four different workouts throughout the weeks that we've done that you can do. Okay, now today, we are going to work on, last time, day one, we worked on rolling, T tick tock roll, T tick tock toss, and then we did TL step throw, trying to get them to land or hit our paper with an X, okay? If this is all you have today, that's fine, you can still use it, you can go ahead and set it on the ground. If you have a ball or a piece of paper, that's great, or, like I said earlier, if you have any item that you can throw into, like a brown paper bag, you can set it on the ground. If you have a box, set it on the ground. If you have a bucket, you can use to set it on the ground. I'm gonna use the bucket because it's orange and it's easy to see. If you have a shoe box, if you have a big bowl, if you have a clothes hamper, if you have a empty trash can, anything like that you can use to shoot into, perfect. If not, still use your X you're going to be aiming for. So the first one today, here's how it's going to work. We're going to have a practice round, then we'll have a competition round. So we're doing two different things today. First, we're going to go back to our T, tick, tock, toss, get as close to the thing in front of you as you can. So if you have a bucket, if you have a piece of paper, if you have a bowl, if you have a box, if you have a bag, any of those things, get as close as you can. The first one you go T, tick, tock, toss, 
and try to make it land, I'm gonna move this down a little bit, inside of your bucket or whatever it is that you have, shoe box, okay? So I did one. Practice round, so I scoot back one step, see tick tock. I'm at two points, I scoot back again. So every time you make it, you scoot back, but this is just practice round number one. So it doesn't matter how many you get, you're just practicing T, tick tock toss, take a step back every time you make it. The next round will be the competition round. So make sure that you have it. If you don't, get yourself your piece of paper. I'm gonna move it over here where you can see it from last time, and you can do your T, tick tock toss, make it land and hit your paper. As long as it hits your paper, you're good. You get a point for that round. All right, we're gonna start the music. And then we're gonna, just gonna practice round one of the practice round, okay? Ready, set, and go. Here we go. Baby, you saw, you make me want to tick tock, toss. Yeah. One step back. Tick tock, toss. Two. I'm gonna take a step back again. Tick tock, toss. Three. There we go. Keep going back, keep practicing. Make sure you're doing your team, tick tock. Oh, I missed it. Try again. Team, tick tock. Toss. Nailed it. Keep going back. If you get to where you can't go back any further, stay here and just keep going from right back here. Team, tick tock. Toss. Practice. Use your eyes. Look at your target and try to aim tick, tick, tick tock, toss into your target or onto your paper, whichever one that you might have. I'm gonna check on you guys as you do this. Check on your papers. Oh, nice over there. See the paper, the X. Good job with the coat. Um, you guys see a bucket there. There's a box over there, a brown bag over that way. Nice, keep practicing. Shoe box, I like it. I see, even see a bowl, a plastic bowl. Clothes hamper, that works, yes. Empty trash can, absolutely. Sweat in, you got it. All right, keep going, keep going, practice round, round one. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job, now that was the practice round. Now we're going to competition round. You're gonna have one minute, and you're gonna see how many you can score either hitting your paper with the X, or regular paper, or into your target, whatever it is that you might have. I have an orange bucket, you might have a shoe box, you might have a box, a piece of, you might have a bag, whatever it is that you have. All right, start close. Every time that you score, take a step back. Let's see what your points are gonna be at the end of one minute. So this is competition round. Ready, set, and go. Here we go, competition time! Let's see who's gonna score more than Coach Chambers. Teach to cut toss, score. Step back. See, tick tock toss. Two. Step back again. See, tick tock toss. Three. Here we go. Scooting back. See, tick tock toss. Four. Four in a row. Back again. Can you do it, Coach Chambers? Come on. Five in a row. Yeah. Five in a row. Keep going. Keep going. How many can you get? I'm gonna stop right here. Keep going. Six! I'm on fire today! Can't miss! Alright, I'm gonna check on you guys. Keep going, keep going. You have 15 seconds. How many are gonna score? Keep going, keep going. Let's go. Five, four, three, two. Oh, knock the bucket over. One, and woo! Nice. Hey, raise your, or show me a thumbs up. If you had more than Coach Chambers, I had six. If you want to write over in the chat how many that you had, go ahead and do that. We're going to move on to the next round. Now, instead of doing rolling or TL step throw, today's different. We're going to do something that we have not done yet because this is going to be like basketball. So I'm going to show you. Here's how you're going to do it. You're going to remember we're going to use the word beef, B-E-E-F. So that will tell you how to do this. So I'm going to get close. Here's what B stands for. B stands for balance, so I'm gonna make sure I'm balanced, okay? E stands for my eyes are looking at my target. Next E, my elbow is right here in front of me. So B, balance, E, elbow, or eyes, E, elbow. And then the next is follow through 
or flick. So it's beef into the target. So I'm gonna start right here, balanced. My eyes are on the target, my elbow's right here, and I'm gonna flick and follow through, throw it into the target. I take a step back again, balanced, eyes, elbow, flick. Oh, miss. So you're just gonna practice using your balance, your eyes, your elbow here, flicking or following through and trying to score inside of your thing. Now, if you have a bigger ball, this is why basketball, if you wanna use your other hand to hold on to the ball like this, like a basketball, you can do that too and try to shoot like so. If you have a small piece of paper, you don't have to do that, you can just do it without your other arm. So it's up to you if you wanna use your other hand to hold it, like a basketball player, or you can just use one arm. This is the practice round, just practice beef. Balance, eyes, elbow, follow through, okay? Every time you make it, take a step back, and we're just gonna practice this round, and then we'll move on to our competition round, okay? All right, get ready, and if you have a piece of paper, you're just trying to make it land when you shoot it onto the piece of paper and hit it. All right, practice round, here we go. All right, beef. Balance, eyes, elbow, flick, nailed it, skew back. I'm gonna do it the other way now. Balance, eyes, elbow, follow through, or flick. Back again, three, balance, four, keep going back, five. Going back, try to make it in there, and then once you get here, just practice. Oh, off the rim! That's okay, keep practicing. I'm gonna check on you guys. This is just a practice round. Practice. Nice. Yep, good job. Using your eyes, elbow, follow through, flick through. Yep, good job. Keep going, keep going. I'm gonna check on you guys here in the chat. If you have your paper, just try to hit it on the X on the paper. Nice job, keep going, keep going. All right, five, four, three, two, one, and whew, freeze. Okay, that was the practice round. Now we're gonna move on to the competition round, okay? So you're gonna start close. Remember, beef, balance, eyes, elbow, and follow through click, and try to score. So every time you score, step back. Two, score it again, step back. Three, how many are you gonna get? You're gonna have exactly one minute to score as many baskets as you can in your bucket, in your box, on your inside your bag, in your clothes hamper, whatever it is you're using on your paper, just has to hit the paper, any of those items. Okay, get ready, don't start yet. Wait for it, wait for the music. There it is, all right, go! Competition round! One, step back. Two, let's go. Step back again. All right, okay. Three. All right, okay. All right. All right, balance. Eyes, elbow, follow through. Four. Keep going, keep going. Who's gonna get Coach Chambers? Five. I can't miss today. Here we go, here we go. Oh. I missed today, that's okay. All right, I'm gonna check on you guys. I'm gonna stick with four or five. I wanna see how you guys are doing. Nice job using the hamper over there. Good, perfect. Nice job, Josh, 25, Meadow, 14. Good job, keep going, keep going. You have 15 seconds, keep going. How many are you gonna score? Five. Four, three, two, one, and stop, no more. Woo, nice job. Okay, if you had more than four, show me a thumbs up. I only had four, okay? If you had more, you can go ahead, write it in the chat over there, let me know what you had. Now, real quick, let's um, go ahead. We're gonna cool off, so you're gonna push your sides back and forth, just reach over. Now, I'm gonna talk to you guys really quickly. Make sure your mics are still turned off for a minute. Back and forth. Now let's talk really quick. So this was day two. We worked on underhand T TikTok, and we also worked on shooting. We used the word beef to show balance, eyes, elbow, follow through. Okay. Tomorrow will be a similar day because tomorrow is day two for second grade. 
we'll be working on that. Now again, remember, tomorrow I'm going to be sending out an email. It'll have this video, hopefully if I can get it uploaded, and three other videos that you guys can go back through from about the last couple weeks and watch, okay? So I finally figured it out, so I'm excited. You guys get to watch some of these, and then be looking for that tomorrow with your K2 PE packets. That'll have music, PE, art, all those things. As always, okay, if you have questions, if you have comments, stick around, go over there to the chat. I'm going to come check on you. As always, stay healthy, stay strong. If you want to stick around to the chat, do so. If not, thanks for joining us. I will see you next time. Awesome, amazing job.